Greetings, fellow terrestrials. Thank you so much for coming back. I just got a quick one for you guys today. I definitely plan to do some more extensive talks about this camera later on, but I just I had to. I had to make a video. This camera I got for $150 with the kit lens and the lens hood and the battery. It just didn't have a charger, um, but he made sure that it was powered on whenever I got there and sure enough it worked and everything seemed operable the sensor was clean so I took the risk I have a universal battery charger so that alone already makes purchases like this so much easier uh, but anyways I just looked into this camera just a little bit in the past you know I had a GH4 and I love my GH5 and I honestly I adored my GH4 it was the first camera that actually showed me how to take this kind of stuff seriously I was looking into getting a B-cam for my GH5 setup for when I'm doing some run and gun stuff and I kept seeing this G7s pop up around $150 to $250 and you know being that it's a 4k camera that has honestly great image quality it's micro four thirds and that's the ecosystem that most of my lenses are in so you know it just made a whole lot of sense uh, and when I got home with this I took a couple clips that you're seeing throughout this video and I just have to say I'm shocked the photos are great too and I love that it's got a little flash built in which like the G I don't think the GH4 had and the GH5 it doesn't have a flash um, obviously it's got a hot shoot for the flash but I don't I just like the idea of just being able to carry this tiny incredibly lightweight camera the G uh, or the G7 and it has a built-in flash, I can interchange the lenses, um, but honestly, all the footage that you've seen in this video is from the G7. This is being recorded on the G7 with the kit lens, just to show you guys what I'm talking about. It's kind of, it's incredible. It's really a slept-on camera for $150 if you're trying to get into filmmaking or videography in any way, shape, or form, content creation. I really think this is a great avenue for you guys. Uh, I mean, obviously, that was a pretty good deal. I imagine you'll probably find it more in the $200 range, but I've definitely seen it around $200 and $250, and I would a thousand percent spend that much money on this camera again. In all these videos that I've shown of the, with this so far and this film, this one I'm filming right now, I am not using any ND filters or anything. Obviously, I'm editing it in post you definitely have to somewhat know what you're doing to get yourself like a, a decent enough image to make this worth it but i'd say it's it's definitely worth it let me know what you guys think down below i hope you have a blessed one thank you bye